team is exposing something police would likely prefer that nobody sees, how evidence gets handled in Baltimore. Security in the city's evidence control division is in question now because a so-called crime gun was found in the home of a former police commander. And when you see the pictures we've obtained, you may not be surprised. I-Team lead investigative reporter Jane Miller is live in the newsroom with this story. Jane. Well, Kate, order and security in a police department's evidence control division is obviously important. Lost or tainted evidence can destroy a criminal case. But here's what the pictures show. It may look like a hoarder's basement. In fact, it's where evidence is kept that city police gather in criminal investigations. So those illegal guns that get seized, they end up here, sometimes stuffed in cans and pushed to a corner. The pictures, which were taken over the past two years, show some shelves collapsed under the weight of the evidence stuffed on them, their contents piled in a heap. These weapons are confiscated weapons that are marked for disposal. The department produced a video on its evidence control section last year, but it offers only limited views. The front counter area is briefly shown, but most of the video is a lengthy interview. What you don't see is the disarray of the division indicating an operation that is in need of significant updating and organization. Take a look at this picture, which shows rusted out file cabinets, a sign perhaps of the flooding that happened here during Hurricane Isabel 11 years ago. Six weeks ago, the Harford County Sheriff's Office recovered a handgun that was supposed to be in evidence control from the home of Dan Leoe. He's a former city police commander who was accused of assaulting his wife. The gun should have been in a metal cage in evidence control, shown here in the photographs. It holds weapons slated to be destroyed. How it disappeared, ended up with Leoe without anyone missing it, all of it remains under investigation. A spokesman today said that Police Commissioner Anthony Batts takes seriously the need for improvement in evidence control. The condition there, he said, had been allowed to persist for decades. And the fix, he added, is underway but won't happen overnight. Reporting live tonight from the newsroom, I'm Jane Miller, WBAL TV 11 News.